So when we talk about that tax diversification, if you think about the three different buckets of money that you can have, right, you've got the after tax, that's money that you've already paid taxes on. You've got money, and and for those of you that are listening on the radio, I'm actually drawing on a whiteboard. You can you can watch this if you want to go to our website at yourlifeafterwork.com uh, to get it off the YouTube channel. But you've got money that's after tax, you've got money that's the Roth, and you've got money that is tax deferred. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, <clears throat> when we go to this cute little thing we call the stair steps, right, this is your tax brackets. These are how they work. So remember, you've got your adjusted gross income, less either your itemized or your standard deductions that you're going to be able to take on your return, and that's going to get you down to taxable income, right? And we've talked about this on the show before. We all have a block of money that's taxed at 10%, right? And then you have a block that's taxed at 12%. So Brett, some people will look at me and go, well, Joe, that's only a 2% difference. Uh, I will always remind people that's a 20% increase, right? Correct. And then you go to 22%. So that's a big jump, right? Mm -hmm. We're we're almost doubling from there. What happens in retirement though, and you know, number one, you want to be able to maintain your standard of living when you go to retire. It's not about replacing your income right? It's about maintaining your standard of living. So I've told you before, if you're at 65 years old, you can make about $106,000 and and take the standard deduction and wind up in the 12% tax bracket. And as Brett has shared with you already, that means dividends are preferential in their taxes, cap, long-term capital gains really don't even exist, right? I mean, there's beautiful, beautiful things.